What do you think your UEMP education and your training in IMC, how did this help shape the kind of marketer you are today? I'm really thankful for the training that I had in UAMP's IMC. It taught me the, fu the foundation, the fundamentals, the basics. The training, the grit, and the experience really honed us. IMC students from UAMP were made different. Hi, welcome to K Talks, alumni stories with Dr. K. I'm Dr. Jerry Gliachka, the Dean of the School of Media and Marketing at the University of Asia and the Pacific. Today, I am with one of our more celebrated graduates uh, in the field of marketing. He started off at Unilever uh, and spent quite a number of years there. He's going to tell us more about his journey. Uh, today, he is the Chief Marketing Officer at GCash. So please uh, welcome uh, Neil Trinidad. Hello, Neil. Hi, Jerry. Good to see you again. Right, and thank you for spending time. I'm I know very you're happy. super busy. <laughs> so, um, great. Uh, well, you know, uh, maybe we can start off by telling us your journey uh, in your career. Uh, you know, you've been around to mm -hmm. a number of companies, so maybe you can tell us about that. Yeah. You know, Jerry, I always like to say that it started with UAMP. So, when I was in UAMP, I always wanted to do marketing. It was the only course that I wanted to take up. And I remember as a, as a young student, when I thought about marketing, there was only one company that I wanted to join, and that was Unilever. I the reason is that. because, you know, every single product in the bathroom was a Unilever product. And I'd see commercials that said, from Unilever at the, at the end of it. And that showed me that they have a lot of money, and therefore it must be good to do marketing there. Right. Now, my career started really because of UAMP. I was very fortunate to have been placed there during my fifth year residency. Right. I started off as, a, as an intern or resident, and back right. then I was handling the Dove brand. I remember this. Um, yes. Which is a phenomenal experience. Very happy to start working um, on that brand. And I was fortunate that at the end of the residency, they offered me a job. Yeah. And I began my career as a management trainee. Uh, worked in the regional office for Deodorants Asia, working on Mixona. Uh, did a sales stint in Cebu, did a modern trade stint with Mercury Drug. And it was really the start of an uh, almost 15 year career in the uh, that brought me to regional roles and global roles, uh, a stint in Singapore for five right. years, That's right. working on the Global Ponds brand, and coming back home to the Philippines in 2013, where right. I was a marketing director um, for deodorants, uh, oral care, skin care. Um, and towards um, the end of my stint in Unilever, that was a time when marketers realized that they needed to become digital marketers. I remember back in 2013, 2014, 2015, the shift was moving to digital. That was the early days of digital, right? So, um, and we were starting to see a shift uh, of marketers that knew digital marketing and marketers that right. It was also during this time that a former uh, boss and mentor of mine, uh, Ken Linga, uh, yes. moved to Google, Philippines, right. as a country yeah. director. Right. And I remember uh, him and I talking, and he was asking me, "Would you like to join?" I took up, I took up, I took him up on his offer. And then I left Unilever, never thought that I'd leave. I know, that was big news. <laughs> it was right? big news, yes. left, you know? Yes, <laughs> right. and I took the leap uh, yes. to move to the world of tech. That's true. So I moved to Google, and uh, back then it was a role where I was working on industries that I'd never worked on before. Uh, I was exposed to the world of technology, telco, travel, QSR. Um, as an industry manager uh, working on advertising, tech sales. Right. And it was an eye-opener and it accelerated my understanding of different industries and my understanding of technology. Yeah. And that move opened up a whole new world mm -hmm. uh, to me. And I remember that during the times that I was uh, working with marketing teams and clients, they always asked me about what are your insights on e-commerce? Back then, it was the early days of e-commerce. That's true. Um, you know, Lazada and Shopee were just getting started. Um, and there was a lot of anticipation, excitement, and curiosity. Right. And so I ended up doing a lot of presentations 
on decoding what e-commerce brands are doing. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And I'm always a big believer, Jerry, that you know, when doors open, you seize it right away. Yeah. So I was quite interested in joining an e-commerce company. And at the same time, uh, there was an, a job posting for the Lazada CMO position. And That's I saw right. it on LinkedIn and I applied. That's true. And but you were not very long at Google. Yet, I wasn't there. I was, I was yeah. there only for about a year. A year, that's true. But in that year, tech moves differently. Yes. Uh, a year in tech is four years in uh, yeah. sort of non-tech FMCG. FMCG. Or yeah. It yeah. moves so fast. Yeah. So when I got the Lazada CMO role, it was yeah. really a pivotal role in an industry that was growing, right. that had a lot of excitement, a lot of you know um, sort of the future. We were creating the future. Yeah. So I moved to Lazada during 2019. Uh, oh, right before 2019. 2019. Just before the pandemic. Just yes, before the pandemic. Right. So right before the pandemic. Wow, and then it exploded. It exploded, yes. <laughs> that's true. So uh, we were there uh, during the golden years of e-commerce. Yes, that's true. That's when true. people had no choice but to shop online. And it, was, right. it was a phenomenal experience um, being there yes. to see how brands, companies, and consumers were shifting their behavior, were moving to e-commerce. It was an exciting, exciting time. And we... We really pioneered a lot of things during that period. That's right. And very um, fast paced. Very fast paced. I remember you speaking in one of my classes and you said that, uh, you know, uh, being in this, in, in this space in Unilever, you would have to spend months perhaps yes. preparing for a campaign. Correct. A year. <laughs> and here, you just needed a week or a few days. Yes. And if it didn't work, well, then, you know, you change. And the agility was something. Agility. I learned yeah. agility. You're absolutely right, Jerry. Yeah. I learned agility during right. that period because 11-11 will not change. If you miss 11-11, you're dead, right. right? The sales dates do not change. Right. And we had to relearn how to do marketing with agility at a time when everyone was on lockdown That's and true. you couldn't shoot. That's so we had to get creative with how we're going to do marketing. We worked with our agencies to turn campaigns in three weeks time. Three weeks time. Uh, to meet those sales dates. It was an exciting time. You know, Jerry, um, it was really an honor and a privilege to have worked in Lazada during the pandemic. Um, one of the campaigns that I'm very proud of was a campaign we created called Nasa Lazada Yan. And it started with the insight that um, if only people knew that what they were looking for was on Lazada, they would actually buy online. And that's where we said, you know, if we just tell them that Whatever they're looking for, Nasa Lazada Yan, and we created a campaign around it. Um, it would drive awareness of our assortment, and it really worked. Um, and uh, it was an exciting time, a lot of innovation, a lot of growth. But as I was sort of in my third year in Lazada, I started paying attention to an industry which was growing really fast, an, an industry that also benefited um, from the change of behavior during right. the pandemic, the pandemic yes. which was Gcash. And so um, I got a call from a headhunter uh, asking if I'd like to join Gcash. And I got a role in Gcash. Um, and it's really been sort of an amazing journey. Uh, moving from tech to e-commerce to now fintech, it's, it's great because we see the impact that a fintech company like Gcash has on the lives of Filipinos. During the pandemic, Gcash was a lifeline for so many Filipinos who couldn't leave their homes. And today, over 94 million Filipinos have ever tried the app. Um, it's used on a daily basis nice. by many Filipinos. And it's all part of our mission to drive finance for all, giving yes. people access, making them feel included, and yes. then journeying them on a path to financial health and progress. Nice. So I've been doing now the CMO role in Gcash for the past year and a half, a little bit more. Oh, wow. um, and it's been an exciting, exciting time. I'm so happy to be here. Amazing. That's great. Well, there <laughs> you have it. A quick journey. Uh, okay. Now, um, can you tell us a little bit about what do you think your UEMP education and your training in IMC, you know, how did this help shape the kind of marketer you are today? You know, Jerry, and I, I tell this to you often and whenever I get yes. interviewed, I'm really thankful for the training that I had in UANP's IMC program. Now I am. Right. Because back then, it, as, a, as a student who was so interested in marketing, it taught me the, the foundation, the fundamentals, the basics. Um, the group work that we had 
an IMC cases. We had a lot of them. And we had a lot of them. <laughs> right. They were filled with tears <laughs> yes. um, and, and sleepless nights. You guys were very competitive. We were. Remember, yes. We were because we had to be the best. Right, right, right. Um, but, but you know, Jerry, uh, the training, the grit, and the experience really honed us. At such a young age when you're a student, to get that training um, in, in the leading program in integrated marketing was really such a privilege. Plus the fact that we were given a chance to have a residency in a large company. That was the advantage. Um, you know, working in Unilever as a resident in my fifth year gave me a foot in the door. And I really credit the IMC program for giving me that head start. You know, imagine being able to work in your dream company when you're still in school, being able to learn from the best leaders. Unilever was a marketing school in many ways. So it just continued a lot of what we learned in um, IMC in school. So for me, I still think that the foundation, the discipline, the agility, the grit, the work ethic really set us apart. And you know, Jerry, in the in back in the early days, um, I'd always get feedback from my line managers uh, that they really saw that IMC students from UNP were made different. They could wow. see the work ethic was different, the yeah. hunger was different, the desire to learn and to do great work was different. And I'd hear that not just from Unilever, but from other companies that would hire residents right. where yes. they were flourishing and thriving and starting right. their careers. So yes. Jerry, I owe it yes. all to you. No, no, the start no, no. To the was program really... And to the many people who, yes, who helped yes, us. Yes, right? absolutely. And uh, also you had many teachers who were from industry. I think that Correct. helped a lot. Correct. Right? And Jerry remember that in yes. many of the companies that I joined, I would get residents That's from uh, UAMP. Thank you. That's right. right? Thank you. So Thank you. Uh, and many of them would go on to have incredible careers. Fantastic. Whether that was in Unilever or in Lazada, and hopefully right. soon we'll have some in Gcash. Absolutely, yes, yes. That brings us to my last question for you, Neil. Uh, you have a big marketing team at Gcash. You also had quite a number of people in Lazada. Yeah. So, you know, in this role that you have, you head all of these uh, departments. What are you looking for in young talent? Mm. You know, especially now, uh, there are lots of new demands, right? In, in the way marketing is done. So what are you looking for? Uh, yeah in aspiring marketers, young talents. Some of our students are, grad are going to graduate, right? <laughs> so what can you tell them about? You know, you know, Jerry, it's great. I work with um, people from different generations. Right. And the one thing that I always look for is learning agility. So what is that? I look for people, especially uh, my younger sort of hires, who may not necessarily have the experience mm -hmm in the industry because yes. for many people, uh, FinTech is new, right? right? Tech is new. Right. So I don't expect you to have experience in this industry because That's very true. few people do. But I do expect that you have the ability to learn quickly, the ability to apply previous concepts of marketing, previous experience that you have to the new industry or category that you're working on. The ability to take things from past experience, from your stock knowledge, being curious enough to apply it and to learn quickly. In tech, you don't have time to study for long periods of time, right? We don't have time to make things perfect. We don't have the luxury of time. We need to get things done fast. And when I mean fast, I look for people who can look at data, can learn to look at data, who are curious about human insight, who can stitch those two together and who can work with creativity and move with speed and learn on the go. And there you go. when I find that learning agility combined with humility and hunger yeah. and sort of drive, that's when I know that they're fit for this job and that they'll do well in Gcash or in any industry right. that they decide to pursue. Right. So there. Wow. That's a great way to end this, right? <laughs> Neil, thank you. So guys, the need to learn how to learn Exactly, and what, learn fast. And learn fast in this new environment, uh, in the world, in the, in the environment of tech, right? Uh, when we're all in. So, well, I guess, uh, thank you very much uh, for, you, again, for making time. These are interesting insights to share with us. And once again, uh, until my next interview,
Thanks very much. Bye for now.